It is a busy night here in the mid-state. We're monitoring two breaking news stories at this hour. Potential threat at a VA hospital and a deputy shot in the line of duty. That deputy was hit outside a home in the 800 block of Old Highway 31 East this evening. And the scene is still active right now as officers collect evidence. Our Rebecca Schleicher joins us from the sheriff's office with the latest on how the deputy is doing this evening. Rebecca. Rory Carey, that deputy took a bullet to the chest, but he is going to survive because he was wearing his bulletproof vest at the time. So now his fellow deputies are investigating on behalf of one of their own this evening. A woman who heard the gunfight from across the street in a home by herself says she heard several rounds fired. Well, my heart sinks to my feet because you immediately think somebody's hurt or somebody's shot, and especially when I seen all the emergency vehicles and all the blue lights, I was really, you know, concerned because we have a lot of friends and family in this area. Deputy Philip Douglas was responding to a call made about a domestic dispute inside the home. When he pulled up and got out of his car, deputies say someone inside began shooting at him. They say he shot back but took a bullet to the chest just as a second deputy pulled up to the house. A brief pause in the gunfire let that deputy find and take 50-year-old James Cummins into custody. Cummins was not hurt. The chief deputy who briefed me tonight says Deputy Douglas was a personal friend and has worked with the sheriff's department for years, making deputy about a year and a half ago. It's a terrible feeling. Um, I had gotten home and I got the call and got back in the car to head out here because uh, the deputy is fantastic. He's one of the very best and he has some of the best tactics and he's one of the most well prepared that we have. And they did rush him to the hospital after he was shot, but he is going to be okay. The chief deputy was happy to report to me just in the last 45 minutes or so that Deputy Douglas was released from the hospital and will be able to rest at home this evening. Reporting live in Sumner County, Rebecca Schleicher, News Channel 5.